Hey everybody, Nick here from Akai Professional. Today I'm going to show you how you can format storage devices with your MPC Live. For this video I will be using a USB flash drive, but the process will be the same whether you're using an SD card, an external hard drive, or a drive you've installed into your MPC Live. Before you begin, if you have not already done so, run the MPC software installer and install the MPC Live's driver for your operating system. This way it can send and receive data from your computer. Check the link in the description for more information regarding this process. To format a drive on a Mac operating system, we will first need to put the MPC Live into controller mode. To do this, start an empty project, press Menu on your MPC Live, and press the controller mode icon. The controller mode icon is represented by a computer chip with the MPC logo and can be found in the upper right corner of the MPC Live's display. When the MPC Live is in controller mode, it can act as a reader for storage devices. When the drive is detected by your computer, it will appear on your desktop. We'll use your Mac's disk utility to format the drive. Press Command and Spacebar to open your computer spotlight search and search for Disk Utility. Press the Enter key to open Disk Utility. Select the drive in the menu at the left side of Disk Utility. Select Erase at the top of the window. In the subsequent dialog, your computer will prompt you to name and select a format for the drive. The MPC Live supports XFAT, FAT32, NTFS, EXT4, and HFS Plus file systems. For the purposes of this video, I will be using the XFAT format, but any of the previously mentioned file systems will also work. When you have named the drive and selected a format, click Erase and your computer will format the drive. When formatting is completed, click Done. Don't forget to eject your drive so you can safely remove it. Your drive is now ready to transfer files to and from the MPC Live or your computer. Check the link in the description for more information regarding transferring files. I hope this video has helped. Please leave all comments and questions in the section below and check the video description for more popular guides and tutorials. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.